Okay, today, ladies and gents, we're going to talk about things you may or may not know about uh, Contone. Uh, Contone, or continuous tone image, is an image in which colors uh, and shades of gray smoothly merge into the neighboring colors or shades instead of producing distinct, sharply outlined colors, uh, areas of color or shade. So basically, this is a contone, or continuous tone, where this is what you see as a kind of banding, yeah? Uh, distinct areas of, of, a, of a color. So that doesn't help us very much, uh, but that's kind of the, the uh, distinct definition. Um, so I wanted to show you in an actual photograph what that means. So I'm going to go here, and this is just some generic photograph that I, uh, um, that I have on my, my computer, and it's got lots of colors in it, right? It's got lots of nice bright colors, for example. Um, here's some bright colors as well, and some darker colors and lots of stuff in between. Um, so one of the things that uh, you should know is with a, uh, a photograph selected, like I have this one selected right now, if I click on any color on the color bar, that's going to change the light contone color to whatever I select. Um, and the default for the, for the dark contone color is always going to be black starting out. Uh, you don't have to keep it that way though. So if I were to just click on this white, um, with this photograph selected, that's going to be a, a white and a white to black contone, or it's going to be a black and white image. Um, that's probably the easiest way to make your image black and white in uh, any of the Zara products. Um, that being said, you don't have to use black and white. Um, if I choose this yellow, uh, then I can get a yellow to black image just by clicking on the, that, that yellow color there. Uh, if I want to play around with that um, and choose this yellow color and maybe scoot it over a little bit more to the, sorry, to the orange side of things and bring it down a little over here, I can get a nice uh, sepia style uh, um, photograph uh, fairly easily. Uh, you can play with this color as much as you want to get it uh, how you want it to look, but that's uh, one of the things you can do with it. Um, as I said, uh, now that this is a, a contone color, this this uh, um, image only has two colors now, the start light color, the light contone color, and the dark contone color. And the reason they call them light and dark contone colors is because it's the light areas of the photo that take on the light contone uh, color, and it's the dark areas of the photo that take on the dark contone color. Again, you don't have to choose a dark color for the dark contone, right? Or a light color for the light contone. You can switch them around. Um, for example, I just made the dark contone color white. So all of the dark areas on the, on the photo um, are now now white, and if I were to, to make the, the light one black, there we go, I get a nice negative of the image. Um, so that's uh, um, another thing you can do with this, right? So let me go ahead and I made them both white now. Whoops. That'll help me tell them apart. Um, one of the other things you can do, no matter what you set the contone colors to be, is if you don't want uh, uh, to, to have a contone image anymore, if you just click on this no color and uh, replace all, there you go. You've, you're re reverted back to your original color photo. Um, you know, this is pretty easy stuff and a very powerful uh, way to, to manipulate some of your photos. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is a real world example of how I use this, um, uh, other than, you know, making black and white photos or, or sepia, uh, style photos, that kind of thing. Um, sorry, I will find it eventually. Here we go. So here is a, um, graphic that I created, uh, for a, 
a challenge on Zara users. And the challenge was to create an old style uh, luggage label, right? Like they used to, to, to put stickers on, uh, on you know, uh, steam, steam trunks and things of that nature. And uh, a lot of the examples that I looked at online had um, these kind of line art images of, of the hotel uh, on them. And um, I didn't want to have to go out and draw that, so what I did is I went out online and found uh, this um, kind of uh, a clip art image of, of a hotel and uh, decided to use that. Now, as you can see, this looks very different than this. Um, so what I did to get it uh, into a useful format is I made it a contone photo. Uh, so I wanted this white to, to be this blue right here. So all I did was change, click on that uh, blue to, to make, make it white. And you say, well, okay, that's great. But now I wanted to, all this black here to be white. Remember, I can change my contone colors to be anything I want. So there we go. In a few simple clicks, I turned this uh, um, black and white photo into something uh, um, that I could use in this image. Uh, added some text and some of the, uh, the, the circles around it, the rings around it, and things of that nature. Added a few, uh, um, added one photo filter to uh, give it this kind of uh, rough bit of noise in, over the uh, the image to uh, to make it look a little bit older. And uh, voila, I was done. Um, in any case, that's uh, how I used it, and uh, you can use, you know this uh, this contone image any way you see fit. Um, it's really just limited to your imagination. So I hope you found that useful and interesting and we'll come back again and see us next time. Uh, until then, happy happy Zaring.